So what is it about gnome that, or gnome, or however you want to say, I don't really care how, people get gnome. really weird about the name. I, I, I don't, I don't care know why. how you pronounce it. Um, like, it's just like people getting weird about Li uh, Linus and Linus. Like, he says it's fine either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know one's he's technically fine. correct. I am more about uh, that because it's his name. Sure. I, I, if he said it's Linus and that's the only one that's correct, like, that would be yeah. fine. But when he says Americans are stupid, basically, just say Linus. Uh, like, if you're going to say I don't both, correct it's fine. People, I don't correct people, but if... Uh, people ask me or like if if somebody was like is is that correct i would say i would tell them how how it's correct linus mm -hmm. as far as i know that's the that's the finish yeah yeah so speci finish specific but i don't say linus and then his his surname is pronounced slightly differently in finnish and swedish as well i don't know the differences yeah I, it, yeah, anyway, I that's not where, that's not where I was getting to with this. What yeah. is it about what is it about gnome that grabs your attention? Like, why is that the distro you gravitate towards? I know a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people in Linux space who are like gnome bad, gnome this, gnome that. But like, what is it about that? Because it's not like it's it's floating, yes, but it's not a Windows like experience. It is a very different kind of desktop. Uh, it's very si simplistic desktop. Okay. How people don't understand that it's really simplistic. You have the top bar, you have lock in whatever format you want because extensions, mm -hmm. and you have that grid where you where you select your application. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's that's the simplistic part of it. And I like first of all, I like that big screen instead of a, a menu. That to me never made sense. I during Windows 8 times, I, I hated on it uh, in a big way. Mm -hmm. As soon as Windows 10 came out, I realized how wrong I was. Let's be honest. And as soon as I could, since there was an option later in Windows 10, you could set it so it was always a screen instead of a, a, a small menu. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the driving factors for me for GNOME because that is like, big, icons are big. You can see things and search works or applications mm -hmm. and that's it. Like, <clears throat> like, like my operating system, I wanted to get out of my way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and nothing does that better than open, in my opinion. Hmm. I think the issue with the, the Windows 8 grid is, so Gnome is, is fine because it's, it's all consistent. Like every... Every yeah. icon's the same size. There's the same spacing. It's very clear where things are going to be. Windows 8, you had these different sized boxes. They had different colors. It just, it yep. was just a mishmash of everything. I get what they were trying to do, but I don't think it worked. I think, like, it's obviously like they're trying to adapt a tablet system into a desktop system, but they didn't go far enough into it being a desktop system. So it, it seemed yeah. really jarring for those people who wanted nothing to do with tablets <clears throat> and like mobile devices for their computer. But GNOME is that, it's, it's more of that middle ground where it's a very friendly tablet system, very friendly mobile system, but it's still like, you know, clear grids, clear spacing, and it feels yeah. a lot more coherent to me. Well, at the end of the day, for me, <clears throat> it's all about search. Right. And and screen makes search much cleaner. Mm -hmm. Whether it was on Windows or it is uh, on GNOME. Screen mm -hmm. makes search much cleaner. Mm -hmm. It can show more stuff on it and so on. Whereas with menu, it uh, on Windows 10 and 11, it first of all, it changes size. Then it, uh, some on Windows especially, it sometimes does this, sometimes that. And with menu, that's generally a thing because we'll we'll have to change because mm -hmm. because of it is actually doing stuff. Screen doesn't need to. Mm -hmm. That's that's been my main driver for it, mm -hmm. for all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gnome is clean. Gnome is gets out of the way. It uses more resources, but I don't care about that. Honestly, I don't care about the so-called bloat. Yeah, I. 
The whole resource YouTubes thing, it, it, it's a really weird one to me. I guess it's because there is a lot of people in the Lex world who like to run or who maybe only have some really old system. It's got one gigabyte of RAM. It's running a 10-year-old CPU. And for those people, yeah, I, I get it. You're trying to reserve... Yeah, for those people, I understand. Mm -hmm. problem is that a lot of people who, who call this stuff out don't run that. Yeah, no, they've got like 16 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of RAM. 64. Try 64, <laughs> you're going to be probably more correct for those nerds. Yeah, some of them for sure. And, I, and when I say those nerds, I also mean myself, because I also run 64 gigs for some mm -hmm. reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got, it I've got 32 in, in this system. That's enough for me. I, I can't even manage to use up that. I guess if you're using a lot of like virtual machines and things like that, uh that was my my plan yeah mm -hmm. but i i use 20 gigs right now ah that's fine let's see let's see what i'm using. also that is probably a virtual machine i'm using uh 3.7 gigs of 32 <laughs> and probably the max i go to is maybe about maybe about eight or nine my system is very overkill <clears throat> Yeah. My system is as well. But hey, you know, overkill's fun. Overkill is underrated. <laughs> that's my that's my uh thing I say when someone says I have an overkill system. But the thing with with the thing with bloat is I don't get why people would like I I get if you have a reason for the performance. Like you're trying to Get every last bit out of a game, for example. Like, that makes sense. Get rid of everything else running. Make a very clean and lightweight gaming system. But for your... If for the people who just, you know... <clears throat> they live in a web browser. They live in their email client. They live in... They live in their IRC chat. Like... But, you know, it's it's using too much of my 64 gigs of RAM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're running DWM as their window manager. And... And like the extra megabyte here and there, like that's the problem. Now, there are some applications that are really bad. Like there are some web browsers that actually most web browsers that yeah. just devour RAM. Like that's probably the thing that I have that uses the most RAM. Like when I when I have Brave open and I'm running like 10, 20 tabs, it's just like, hey, how much RAM can I have? Can I just have all of it? Sure. Mm. Go ahead. Why not? Um, yeah, that's a big, big issue for it is, is browsers. But mm. browsers do, use it for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there is a reason. Ja JavaScript sandboxing mm -hmm. that uses a lot of RAM. Yeah. But I've seen people who, for no other reason than to just go bloat free, mm -hmm. they go with Gento. Not, not for any good reason like Joshua does. Joshua mm -hmm. has a great reason for it. They go because they want the system to have to use as little RAM as possible, even though they have 64 gigs of RAM or or even more. 